What up, YouTube? Old man. That's right. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel for the newbies. Old man games. Another episode here for you. This is Starters Order 7. A horse racing simulation game. Getting ready for episode number five here. We're now in the game. We have a couple of race horses that we have bred and have been racing. We continue with our breeding program. And yeah, man, let's just hop right into this. So we got our two horses here, B Calm and Super Gift. B Calm is a two, uh, no, that's a three. Is a grade three horse. She, she picked that up in their first race. She's only won one race so far. Super Gift has run two races. They both got races coming up. We're right here on Friday, April 8th. Becom has a race coming up on May 4th and Super Gift has a race coming up on April 29th. Before we proceed with anything, let's take a look at our breeding. We got a breeding barn here with studs and mares. Let's see, let's make sure all of them have gotten busy. Yep, it looks like they have. All of our mirrors are in full. We have 26, so that's good. A nice crop coming. We've already sold a number of yearlings. We've got 14 that we've held on to. And before I click on this, I just wanna let you guys know, I took the time offline to go through and rename some of these horses. So let's go through some of the names I came up with. Previously on the last episode, I named Bobby Digital after one of my favorite MC slash producer, the RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan. Yep, that's right. Uh, Bridal Path, we kept the same. Catalina's Flame, we changed this name here. I forget what she was previously. Some of these names, I don't know. I tried the best I could with creativity. Uh, one thing I try to do is look at their lineage and get ideas from the, the lineage so in this case this is Catalina something previously but if you look here her grandmother is leaping flame so I just changed the last name to flame right kept it in, kept it in the family so she's now Catalina flame Catalina's flame all right next fantastic star I'm not sure I think I did change her name because her grandfather is mystery star so whatever the name was previously, it was fantastic something. I just changed it to Star to link it with the with her lineage. So she's now Fantastic Star. That's Mystery Star's granddaughter. So these are her parents. This is her lineage tree. These are her parents and these are her grandparents. So she has grandparents on both sides of the family. Some of the horses that come when the or that are at the start of the game, they're their lineage starts with them so it doesn't go that far back but as we progress they're gonna get you know this will get more and more I wonder what this is for Hold on, let me see. I don't know I'm not gonna press that anyway so that's that that's fantastic star let's see who else we renamed here oh okay <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones and I think this is actually like some rapper or someone someone has this name in the entertainment industry but I renamed this horse again don't ask me what their names were previously you have to look at the, the tape but I renamed this one felonious monk and the reason why is if you look at his lineage his grandfather his maternal grandfather so this is his dad see his dad wayward prince was one of those horses that were that didn't have a lineage at the start of the game so you won't see parents for him but on the mom's side she has a lineage, right? So his grandfather is named is Crime Don't Pay. So I named him Felonious, like a felony. You get it? Felonious Monk. Grandson of Crime Don't Pay. So that's that one. Who else did we name here? Fifth Fighter. I didn't change her name. I remember that. I left it as is. That's the daughter of Jim Tango and... Parisian princess I think that's how you pronounce that 
Who else we got? King's Maiden. I didn't change this name either. This is her lineage. That's Informed Award in Dreams or her, or her parents. Oh, okay, out of stock. I did change this name. I don't think I based it on the lineage. Whatever it was before, I just made it a play of the previous name from what I recall. It was out of something, so I just made it out of stock. Prince Charming, I did change his name. If you look here, not there, if you look here, oh, you see his mom's name is Charming Tina. So I just played off of that and named him Prince Charming. Else we got really lovely honestly I don't think I did anything with this name I don't recall yeah I think I just left that one as is uh, oh then we have rebel rabbit I definitely changed this name this is a combination of his parent of her parents so her dad is rebel do my keys the mom is rabbit sand so she's rebel rabbit so I just took the first two names of the parents then we have Rebel Rose. I know you can guess who her father is. Her father is Rebel Do My Keys. And whatever the name was previously, it had Rose in it. So I just put Rebel in front of that and called it a day. Then we have Sister Kit. I don't think I changed this name. I think this was the name that she came with and I just left it alone. And then finally we have Twice As Nice. Her her father is double the trouble so i figured she would be twice as nice you get it so that's all super corny super straightforward with the names and as we go and get more breeds through the years again drop down in the comments y'all this is this is this in my mind when i envision creating this series i envision this being a fun little interactive back and forth between me and the viewership so yeah if you're watching this if you got some dope horse names drop it in the comments i'll be looking out for them and i will collect the good ones and incorporate them into the series as we progress all right so that's what i wanted to show here with our yearlings and again when we get around to next year i'm gonna sell i'm gonna keep the top of this crop and sell the rest okay so right now we're at 1.9 million dollars and again we're in april i think we have enough to really to maybe purchase one more horse here and i think if we do purchase one more it'll have to be a mare because if we purchase a stud he'll just be sitting there he won't have anyone to mate with uh so that's what be on that's what we will be on the lookout for there's an auction on this day it doesn't look like there are any horses here in this auction that we're interested in so let's make our way to april 29th and we might stop along the way here and there wait before we do that let's just see okay yeah no there's no major sales there's a yearling sale on the 30th but we don't intend to sell any more of our any more of our yearlings but that's always good to to know and be mindful of in case we do need some extra cash there's more yearling sales where we can make a quick buck there all right, so we'll just sim our way on to the 29th. I'll go slowly and I'm keeping an eye on this tab right here To see if there's like right now an option just an auction. I keep calling auctions options Each auction that pops up. I'm just gonna take a peek to see what they're offering There's nothing much there We're just making our way through that's a two-year-old so we're not interested in that Here's another auction nothing there okay again we're making our way to the 29th super gift gift has a race that day boom okay so we're here on race day super gift rating is at 80 she she placed a couple times which is how she's earned money so far in their two races she's earned four thousand dollars she just hasn't won anything yet believe this is another maiden race let's take a look here yep this is going to be another maiden race in texas a seven furlong c4 race that's the grade c4 just out of the top three now before we go into the race one thing i want to show that i haven't shown i said previously what i'm going to do each year is give myself a 
$100,000 gambling budget. And the way I look at it is, as soon as my gambling hits negative 100, did I say 1,000? I meant 100,000. As soon as my gambling hits 100,000 in any given calendar year, then I will no longer gamble. But we're way far from that. But just to show you how I track that, if we click on the finances tab, you can see a look at our finances. And it's kind of cool because you can see like the year over year progression here, right? And as we've made more and more money each year, these are now our weekly bills. They've sort of skyrocketed. I think, we, I think we're kind of heavy on staff. We have more staff than we need at this point, but that's totally fine. Oh, you see down here, season betting summary. So, so far, we've paced $3,000 in bets and we've lost all 3,000 of those dollars. But as you can see, we're $97,000 away from our cutoff. So we, we got a lot of room. They also have a bank loan section here, which I rarely use, but you know, it's there in case you want to use it. And if you do use it, the payback and with the interest you'll see come out of here. But yeah, so that's our finance page. Just wanted to show that before we hop into our first race of this episode. But let's get to it. So we got Super Gift again in the maiden race today. We're going to skip until we oh boom there she is right there we'll go ahead and place a wager on her oh look at that she's kind of favorite. she she is tied with the favorites so i'm gonna put this all the way on her i'm gonna bet twenty five hundred dollars for her to win the whole thing Oh, and look, and then once I did that, the odds changed. So that's that's interesting. The I guess the odds change as as the bets come in. I don't know. All right, let's get it. Let's get it, y'all. We're on our way, loading up the race. Here we are on the track. Here are the horses with their jockeys. And the name of their owners, so Super Gift, OMG, Jockey, D. Clark, our resident jockey. And they're off. I usually start and the, the races off kind of slow. Three from number one and number five. And then after a while, I'll hit that tab so we can fast forward through it. Boom, like that, right? Number two is last. Turning left-handed. Half a mile left to run. Number one has gift. a good advantage. You can also see her up here. Number five. Number five ranges up on the outside. Come on, Super A quarter good. of a mile to run. Number one is the leader. From she number dusted. five, they're in the final third. Ooh, number ooh, one has ooh. the advantage. Oh, from number five, I thought she was about to make a run for the it. The favorite takes the win. She got second. Damn it. I placed the wrong bet again. I should have. If I would have did the other bet, I would have won that one. Because she came in second. She's just not ready yet, man. She's just not ready yet. All right, let's take a look at the form book. Again, there's Super Gift in second place. In this race, she won $2,000. So her to total purse on the season is now up to $6,161 across three different races. She's earned money in each race. She just hasn't won one yet. Her rating, she went up. Her rating went up from 80 to now 82, as you see here. So that's good. She's at least getting better. All right. So let's see what the Jackie D. Clark says in his feedback, written and packed, which appeared to suit well enough, maybe better over a slightly shorter trip. 
So this one was four, uh, not four. This one was seven furlongs. I'll try to look to get her into a six or a five furlong race going forward, if I can remember. All right, that was the only race we had on this day, so we can skip the rest of these. Here's the after race auction. There's a 90 rated filly that they're auctioning. We don't need to add her to our stable. We're pretty good there. Okay, so since she just raced, I'm gonna give her a few days to recover before I look to schedule her next race. Next up, we got Be Calm on May 4th. This will only be, look, Supergirl's already ran three races. Be Calm is just now on her second, but she won her first and it still made more money than Super Calm. I mean, Super Gift, I'm tripping. All right, there's a sale on this day. Oh, a yearling sale, we're not interested in that. Okay, so now we're on May 1st. We got a few days before we get to Be Calm's race. Let me just take a look at the sales calendar. We got a breeder sale the day before on the 3rd. I'm gonna check that out. There's that. But they don't have anything that I'm interested in adding. So we'll skip it. Boom, so now we're on race day for Be Calm. And again, I scheduled all of her, so all of the races for Be Calm for this entire season are already scheduled. And the way this came about, for those of you who haven't seen the previous episode, when we decided to keep her as one of the three, we originally kept three, one of the three we've already sold because she just didn't have it. But we identified as Be, we identified Be Calm as the top horse of the horses that we are racing this season and with that i went through at the top of the season at the top of the calendar the top of the year and i scheduled as many races in advance for her as i could so i don't necessarily have to worry about her it's pretty much set and forget at this point with be calm all right so let's go get it let's see how she does here she is right here I'm gonna put a bet on her too. I'll just bet that she places. And there's a bunch of horses in this race. I think this is a, this is a pretty big race right here. It's in Kentucky. This is a five furlong. Grade three. Oh, okay. So C1 must not be the grade. That's funny. When it was C4, I mean, I think this is some sort of rating, but whatever. Anyhow, um, if anyone knows in the comments, feel free to correct me. Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven horses in this race right here. And it's just the five furlong race. We're gonna see how this goes. This should be interesting. Loading them up. Again, you can see their place right here, as well as, you know, the visual. And the early leader is number 10 from number three. Half a mile left to run. Number three is the fractional leader from number 10. Damn, Becom is way in the back. But I think she's just stalking them right now. She gonna, she gonna get it together, watch. Oh, she don't got that they much have time. three furlongs left to run. Number this is, three is the this fractional is how much leader distance from we have number left. 10. You see the countdown? Number 11, staying on late on. Number three is the leader from number 10. Number 11 takes it. Okay, that's not her race right there. I can see that now. That's not her race. That was way too short of a race for her. She couldn't do nothing. 
Damn, she came way in ninth place. That's not good at all. Still no rating just yet. Remember, I think it takes about... Well, she might have a rating after this. I don't know. That might be the pre-race rating. But let's see. One, two, three, four. The top five earned money on this, but we didn't get... We didn't even get that. Again, this was a five furlong race. This is the shortest distance of any race. I think they start the lowest is five furlong, so we'll have to avoid those for her going forward. Let's see, you're written as closer. I believe the horse will get another will get another furlong. Yeah, see, he's saying the same thing. It needs to be long. She needs longer races. I think at least minimum six. Yeah, they can never get competitive, so. That's that race. Let me check. Oh, here. Hold on. Okay. We don't want that auction. So let me check the remaining races for Be Calm just to make sure she has no more five no more five furlong races for her. The next two races will be six furlongs, then a seven, and then a one miler. Which I don't think she could do one mile because her stamina is so super low. The race that she won was a six furlong race, so that might just be her sweet spot. We'll see how she does in the seven. But her next race won't be until July 1st. Let me just take a peek at the calendar. We'll take a look at these weekly auctions, the weekly sales, but the next breeder sale isn't until June 13th. So we'll make our way toward that. Once Super Gifts, again, the number in the parentheses what that signifies is the number of days since their last race. So we'll keep an eye on that. Once Super Gift gets to about 15 days since her last race or so, I'll look to schedule her for another one. So we're just gonna scroll through these dates and look for sales to pe peek at. Oh, I think green is two-year-old. Yeah, that's a two-year-old, so I'm not interested. Here's a weekly auction. Nothing there. And at this point, I don't just want a mare. I want some. I want one that's graded. Okay, it's time to schedule super gift again. Oh wait, and let's see, before we do that. So yeah, I think her sweet spot is about the same, somewhere between six and seven. I may try to stick with seven because her speed isn't that, or she has a good start, so she breaks out fast, but her speed and acceleration leaves much to be desired. Let's see here. Her extra speed rating, eh. Her cruising burst so she's definitely a, a sprinter so a shorter distance would be better for her let's see what we can get her into okay when I'm scrolling through I'm looking for this cutoff so we won't this is the penalty line Damn, there's a graded race right here, but I don't think... Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna try to get her graded, actually. Even though she hasn't won a race yet. And this one is kind of far. It's like 1,500 miles from our base. But it's there, so we're gonna, we're gonna take a stab at it. Because she, she kind of is comparable with these other horses in this race. You see their ratings, 78. There's only one other 82 horse there, so she may have a chance, actually. All right, so we got Super Gift scheduled. That race will be on June 5th next month. Right now, we're at May 19th. So we'll just keep uh, skimming, skipping our way through, checking out the auctions as we progress. Making our way to June 5th. Oh, we got Mel. I think, oh yeah. This is just to tell us that BCOM has been entered into her next race, which is the Juvenile Championship on July 1st. 
So we got a race for a super gift on June 5th. BCOM's next race is July 1st. Ooh. Oh, it's a coat. And he's kind of young. That's younger than what I would like to start breeding. I kind of, I like to start breeding at four and above. And five in some cases. I think three is too young. At least for what I'm trying to do. Even though he fits the bill, right? He's rated over 100 and he's graded. But it's a stud. So even if we were to purchase him, he'd just be sitting there. Because all of our, all of our current mares are in full right now. So we're gonna skip that one and keep it pushing. I'm simulating through, I'm going slow so that I don't, you know, accidentally skip a date. There's another two year old cell. Okay, boom, another race day. Time for super gift to get it on. This is a graded race for her, so let's see what she can do. Now I'm at the point where I'm like, damn, I don't want to place the bet because she's going to end up winning the one I don't place the bet on, and that'll be irritating. There's only one, two, three, four, five. There's only six horses in this race, so we got a good chance. Let's see what it do there. I was just about to say it too. I'm glad I held back. All right, super gift in the back, trying to push forward. And the early leader is number four from number one, number five, and number six. Again, number four has the advantage. This from part number right here, one, number six, and number five. This part right here, number one is making ground. Come on, man. This number part three is last. This dude is not gonna let me talk. This part right here shows where they are in the race and how much longer they have. There's 4.1. You see the countdown? Half a mile left to run. Number four just leads from number one, number six, and number five turning left-handed. So Super Gift is right there stalking them. I'm about to fast forward the rest of it. They have three furlongs left to run. Number four is the leader from number one and Ooh. number six. Ooh. Number oh, six staying damn. on. They're she tried to make a push. Furlongs. Number what the hell one happened? is the clear leader oh from number four. Damn, yo, something happened with Super Gift right there. She ended up getting super dusted. What the hell happened? Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hold back from betting on them. Super Gift ended up in fifth place. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, she won 600 and damn, it had to be 666, huh? So she just won another $666. Pushes her season total up to $68.27. She still hasn't caught up to the other one. Let's see what it says. Written in pack. Sorry, but we were never in it. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, we don't have any more races on that day. There was no auction that day. Oh, look at that. Super gift went down to 79. So she was at 80, 82, now she's down to 79. That's how the graph works. So she's she's gonna have to get better. We'll keep an eye on her. Try to get a fast track for her. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, BCOM did get her rating, y'all. She's at 93. Even though 
in that last race she came in ninth out of 11. She's still rated pretty high at 93. Her next race again is on July 1st. And I'm not gonna schedule Super Gift for a while. I'm gonna have her recover, at least again, give her 20 days before I schedule the next race for her. And just simming slowly, keeping an eye out on the sales. Nothing there I want. I think there's a, yep, there's a breed sale on the 13th, so in two days. her but save the table oh oh my goodness the four-year-old looks freaking good I like this one right here too okay so this one I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to go for save the table but I got a feeling she might be out of our price range and if that's the case I'll settle for this one right here I can't pronounce that majorata there's another one there too, but she's below a 90, even though she's graded, so I'm not even gonna consider it. Okay, so that, damn, y'all. We, we definitely not getting Save the Table. Her freaking reserve is 1.6 million, and we only got 1.8. Now, technically though, we can get her, because like I said, there's still more yearling sales coming up, so if she doesn't go above what we have here, this 1.8, but I think she's gonna, be above that out the gate though honestly we'll settle for this one though major rata if that happens damn look at that all right see that she gone 2.1 mil 2.2 mil i think she might go for like okay she's gonna go for about 2.4 i can't even bid on it All right, that's fine. We'll settle for this one. Probably get her for half a million, give or take. Yep, right at about half a million, 497. So all good. We add another graded horse to our stable. Let's go get her hooked up. She can bring us in some more money next year. I'm pretty sure her first offspring will make up, will offset the cost that we just spent on her. And I'm gonna go ahead and hook her up with the either Rebel or Jim Tango. Jim Tango is the best stud we have, but he's not graded. That's the only thing about him. Let me see, which one would she match up with better? Ooh, damn, she looks good. I love that speed on her and that accelerate. And look, she has the, tri the triple threat, the big three. Speed, stamina, and acceleration. And she's a long distance. Oh my goodness, okay, we gotta, let me see. Ooh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna hook her up with Jim Tango. Watch, keep an eye on their offspring. I bet their offspring is gonna be good. I bet you. See where we are. Okay, let's keep simming. Uh, the next race we have is on July 1st for Be Calm. Look at that, we still have 1.3. We could probably get away with getting another half a million dollar horse, so. I'll keep my eye out to see if there's another mare who fits the, the bill. Wait a minute. I will consider this one though. Chillworth Lad, let's see his lineage. Damn, he comes from a pretty good lineage. All of his parents, damn, all his parents and grandparents are great. Okay, I'm gonna go after him. And he's a 112 rated. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get him. It's gonna be tough though. I got 1.3 million. Let's see if we can get him. Damn. His freaking reserve is more than what we have in the bank. We're not going to be able to get him. So we'll skip that. We will skip that and keep it pushing. Again, our next race is on July 1st. I'm skimming through slowly, or skipping through slowly because I'm keeping an eye on these sales. Constantly looking for deals. 
looking to upgrade our breeding operation, which really updates everything else. There's a trickle down effect with that. I don't know if that's yearlings. I could potentially sell more yearlings here, but that'll just be cutting ourselves off because when we sell them as two year olds at the top of the next calendar year, we're gonna cash in right there. Oh, gotta keep an eye on Super Gift. It's time to get her scheduled for another race. Let's see, her last race was seven furlongs. She could do seven, six or seven. Try to find another handicap race for her. Uh, not handicap, um, maiden race is what I meant to say. Wait, where's the cutoff? Okay, there's the cutoff line. So anything below this, we can enter her without a fee. Or without, not a fee, but without a late penalty, a late declaration penalty. Let me just see here. Oh, boom. Here's a maiden race in the fake Chicago that's supposedly 92 miles away from Houston. <laughs> We all know that's not the truth, but hey, we're suspending our disbelief. Now, the only thing with this maiden race right here, I love that it's close to home, but it's a one mile race. I don't think she's built for that distance. Even though I think she will beat all those horses that are in this race, I just, I don't think she's built for it. You know what, screw it. Let's give it a try. Let's see how she does in a longer distance race. We gotta we gotta test her out. We gotta test her out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and register her in this race. It's a one mile race. It's close to home, so hopefully that helps. We'll see how she does. Alright, so her next race is gonna be July 22nd. Right now we're on June 30th. We got a race coming up tomorrow for B B Calm, yeah. All right, boom. Oh, there's a sale today too. Let me check that out first. There's a mare who's over the rating threshold that I'm looking at, but she's not graded. I only want graded horses. We'll back out of that and go to the race. I gotta skip slow so I don't accidentally skip the race I'm on. Here we go, okay. Be calm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we've raced against Finbar before. Some of these other ones as well. So let's see. This has been a bad betting year. I haven't won one single bet yet. So let's see what it does. This is the Juvenile Championship. C1, another grade three race. For BCOM, she's already won one of them, so she earned her grade three certification, if you will. Damn, she got off to a slow start. She's right here. Number seven missed the break. And the early leader is number eight from number two. Number two is the narrow leader from number eight. I'm gonna wait till we get to that. Number half, seven is last. Half a mile mark right there. Half a mile left to run. Number eight is the fractional leader from number two. The favorite making ground late on. Come on, number B two has a good advantage. Ooh, look at B from Come on, now. Eight. 
Come on. Number oh, two is the clear damn. leader from number one, number five, and number four. Looks like a photo finish. Damn, man. Another disappointing race. BCOM finishes seventh. <laughs> Only the top five earned money, so as another one. Or she missed out. Let's see what it says. Written as closer was suited. I believe the trip suited perfectly. We can never get into the race. Yeah, I saw that. That's unfortunate. So she's stuck on that 19,600 that she made in the first race. I think, oh, look at this. Her rating shot up to 99 now. She's still a really good horse. She just doesn't have the stamina, man. What was that? That was a six furlong race? Yeah. I think she has to stick to six and seven. Next one is another six furlong for her. Let's make our way to July 22nd and keep an eye out for the sales. Here's one. Nope, none of those. There's another breeding sale on July 24th. We'll keep an eye out for that. Okay. This is them telling us that BCOM has been registered in her next race, which is next month in August. On August 16th. So we're just simming our way through July, keeping an eye on the sales as we march toward the next race here which is scheduled for july 22nd oh it's a good thing i looked at that because that comes before that maiden sale i would have possibly skipped right over it that's a two-year-old so boom oh okay so the race is on the day of a sale but that's fine we don't want any of those so Super Gift, this is her fifth race of the season. Still trying to get her her first win. This is another maiden race for her. Damn, look at this. There's only, am I seeing this right? Only two horses in this race? And I don't even know if this is a horse. Is this just one horse in this? What's going on? No batting walkover. I don't know what that means. Boom, here we go, super gift. She's up there pretty high. Let's see. All she gotta do is come in first or second for us to win now. Come on. Come on, super gift. She broke out decent. And the early leader is number one from number six. Right in the pack right now. Number four is last. Number one is the leader from number six, number five, and number seven. This is the distance left. I'm going to fast forward once we hit... 4.0 which is half a mile one mile again is four I'm, I'm sorry one mile is eight furlong so half a mile is four turning left-handed 
Half a mile left to run. Number one has the advantage from number six. Oh, damn. Number look. two ranges up on the outside. S you see right number here? Number three making ground late Super on. gift. Super gift. End up They're getting in the hurt. Final furlong. Number four has a clear advantage. The leader I think powers home. Number four wins. I think we may have over raced her this season. She ends up getting injured. She didn't finish the race. I didn't even notice that. I don't know when it happened, but yeah, she didn't finish. She settled early, pulled up, sustained injury. So let's see what that injury is. We're gonna have to nurse her back to health. That's unfortunate, did not finish. Yep, I saw that. So let's get out of here. Um, here's the end of race auction. We can get out of there. So you see this status indicator? That indicates that she is injured. She kept her rating at 79. And then we can click here to get more info. Slight limp. We have the option of paying. Yeah, we'll do that. We got the money. So she's recovering now. She has a pulled muscle. Recovery time is up to two weeks. We'll let her get better. I think I might do this as well. Ah! These operations, I don't know, you don't always have to do, but I do it when they're injured. Out to grass, FYI, that's just, you know, if at any point in the season we want to shut a horse down for the rest of the season and no longer race them, but also we, we're not, we don't want to breed them, we can send them out to grass and that'll just basically shut them down for the, season, for the rest of the season. And they'll be back the following season. But she's not there yet. She just needs a bit of a break. So we'll give her some time off continue to work our way through July and then try to get to this next race for BCOM. That's in August. Let's see what the mail is. Oh, just to talk the mail, uh, the email is about her injury. So we already know about that. All right, so we're back on the grind. Oh, here's another breeding cell, but they don't have anything weird that we want. Take a look at the cell calendar. The next breeding cell is on September 6th. We'll keep an eye on that. Right now, we're making our way toward August 16th. Keep my eye on these cells as they flash up. Nothing there. Okay, we just crossed over. We got mail. Okay, it looks like BCOM has been entered into another race that occurs on September 6th. It'll show after this one not drops off. So she's now registered in two different races. Okay, nothing there that we want. We're just making our way through uh -oh. oh, okay. When it went from that S to now just red, that means she's recovered. Super Gift is now recovered, but she's not ready to race yet. So it says, uh, head lat. This horse is short of work and requires a few more days before a racing, um, before racing to freshen up a little. Yeah, so she just returned from injury. We'll keep an eye on her. She's not ready yet. It's been 16 days. I may give her a full month off, a full 30 days before I look to schedule her next race. She's already ran five races. I might even shut her down for the season, actually. Although it would be nice to get a maiden win in this season for her. It just may not be meant to be. So we're working our way to August 16th. And actually, I think I may not schedule her for another race until until BCOM catches up with her. You see, BCOM has only run three races, whereas Super Gift has already run five. But BCOM has 
is entered in two races right now. She has a race coming up in three days, two days on August 16th, and then another one right around the corner on September 6th. All right, boom. So now it's BCOM's race day. Let's find the race. Boom, right there. You know what? I'm not even going to place a bet on this and watch she does damage. A lot of horses in this race. horses in this race. And they're off. Okay, there's B Com right. Damn, she made it her way to the back real quick. And the early leader is number four from number seven and number nine. Number nine's the narrow leader from number four, number seven, and number one. Half a mile left to run. Number four just leads from number nine and number seven. Number one staying on late on. Number nine has the advantage from number four. Number nine is the leader from number six. Number eight crosses the line. In Damn, first. she made a little bit of a late push, but uh, it's not good enough. That's not good enough, man. That, ooh, man, that's bad. She came in eighth place. Only the top five earned money. I think her rating went down as well, slightly. He just couldn't get into it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it did. It dropped by one. So she went down from 98.9 to now a 98. So this rating right here shows the rating that the horse was when they entered the race. And then this is their current rating. So it just shows that entering this last race, she was rated 99. Entering that second to last race, she was rated 93. These two, she were yet, she was yet to be rated. And now her current rating is 98, right? And remember, that changes each race. So again, her next race is on September 6th. And then her last race is November 4th. So that'll be four. That'll be, I oh know, sorry. She's already raced four. This would be race number five. This would be race number six. So to keep super gift in line with that i'm only gonna schedule her for one more race so they'll both race a total of six times in this rookie season of theirs their two-year-old season so i'm gonna keep simming my way through and she's not even ready yet it'll turn green once she's ready to be scheduled okay blue lavelle she has the rating but she doesn't have the grade so we'll skip right now we're making our way to September 6th. We are at August 22nd. Keeping my eye out on these auctions as they come up. He looks pretty good. He's rated at 110, but he doesn't have a he doesn't have a grade. I only want graded horses at this point in the game. Oh, yearling. I think that green was two year olds. Nope. He's too young anyway. Okay, go another breeding cell. They got some good ones, this one here and that one there, but they're not graded, so I might have to skip out on them. 
Although, you know what? I might consider this, that one. Let me see how much she is. 678? Nah, I'll skip it. I'll skip it. I would have done it if I could have gotten her for half a million or below, but with the reserve being over 600,000, no way. All right, so we got another race in three days. We're on September 3rd. Next race is September 6th. Oh, and as you can see, Super Gift is ready to be scheduled for her next race. Let's go ahead and look for something. Here's the cutoff. I'm gonna stay away from these five furlong races. You know what, I think I'm gonna enter her in this race right here. It is a maiden race, but it's for fillies. So she'll race against other fillies and they're all two year old two year olds. She's look like and she's the highest rated horse in this race, so hopefully that gives her a chance to get her first win. We'll see how that goes. And that'll be her final race of the year. So this is the final month of race. Oh no, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. That's Super Gift's final race. BCOM's final race is in November. But she got another race in a couple days here. As in today. Let's see what it do. Boom. There we go. Uh, Nope. She's not nowhere near. And she hasn't been racing. Well, I mean, now granted... I do say she hasn't been racing well, but by the same token, she's been in some high profile races. So keep that in mind. Meaning like she's been racing against the best of the best in every race since that first one. I'm glad we got her grade out the way. You know what? I'm still gonna put 500 on it. But we run out of races to bet on. Make that, make that 4,500. I just need her to come in top two. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do, be calm. So I could be calm. All right, let's get it. I need be calm to be calm so I could be calm. Let's go. See, there go that fin bar again. She's had a number of races against that horse. I recognize these names now. King Jack, I think I've seen that name a couple times. Tyrannus, I've seen that name. So she's racing against the same horses over and over, but it's a it's an elite class of horses. I just wish she had the stamina. If she had the stamina, be calm would be cold, but that's okay. And they're off. And the early leader is number Let's three, calm, from number seven, and number four. Dropping like a rock to the to last place. Number seven's right the there. narrow leader from number three. I need her to get her act together, man. I don't know why she always drops to the back and then she can't she can't recover with enough time. We're at the halfway point and she's dead last. What is going Turning on? Turning left-handed. Half a mile left to run. Number five has a good advantage from number four and number ooh, three. Ooh. Number eight staying on. Oh, a quarter man. of a Damn. mile to run. Number five is the clear leader. Come on, be from calm. Number Come four. on, be calm. Let's number go. Come on, be calm. Let's go, be calm. Be calm. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Hey, y'all, be calm. Hey, let me be calm, y'all. Let me be calm. She didn't win it, but we won the bet, though. She, got, she came in second. Damn, 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 y'all. Damn, y'all. That was a good, that was, now that got me excited right there. Let's go. Way to go, b -com. So she, ooh, ooh. Look at that. She just won 80 grand, $80,500 as well as the little side bet that I made, but hell, don't touch that 80 grand, way to go. 
That's what I'm talking about, y'all. And her rating has just jumped up to 103. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. That was in the Del Mar Futurity. That's a grade two. Ooh, that's a grade two race. She's a grade three horse. So she almost got, she almost, she almost upgraded to grade two right there. Her season earnings is now at 100,000. So she hit the 100,000 mark in year one. That's, that's really awesome. Be calm, written as closer with suited. It sure did. Got the distance well. Yep, I think that's her race right there. That seven furlongs, that's Be Calm's race. Okay, we're done with this race day. Let me see, because I think in the first race that she won, oh no, okay, that was a six furlong race. But yeah, I think seven furlongs, I think that's her race. Good job. So she has one more race coming up in November, the Juvenile Phillies race it's a one miler so we'll see how she does with that again i don't think she has the stamina can't tell but it looks like her stamina might be creeping up a little bit you see that speed on her and she flexed it on you in this last race her her extra speed rating uh it's okay it's decent i don't think it's you know much to brag about but i like her finish application that's maxed out Oh, and look, she's fully realized, too. She she already reached her potential. So, not bad. Not bad at all. And this is overall. So, like, you can look at the individual horses, but this is what all of our horses have done. Now, our career is going to match our season because this is the first... Out of all these years, we've been building and building and building. This is the first one where we've actually started racing. So again, this is for the entire stable. So, so far this year, we've between the three of them. See, you only see 10 races here between these two, but remember we had a third horse that ran two, two races before we sold her off. So total, the stable had 12 races this season. We won one so far and total we've earned 108,000 101 dollars across all the races with all the horses that we've raced okay so we got another race this month on the 30th i'm sorry on the 20th for super gift that'll be her last race of the season i keep it oh look at that uh oh oh no that's a 77 though oh and he's gilded okay when you see that g right there Next to a male horse, that means he's gilded, which means he's basically, um, what do you call that? Basically, he, you know, he's been uh, fixed. He can't, he can't have kids. They, they cut his balls off. And yeah, this is the parental advisory program. All of the programs on this channel are that. So if you're watching with your kiddos, be sure to cover up their ears or explain it all to them. Okay, parental advisory is advised, y'all. I gotta speak freely. This is not for kids. All right, so anyway, making our way through, trying to get to September 20th. So we can do Super Gifts final race of the season. There's a good looking mare right there, Capella, but he's not graded. He just has the rating. Before we go into that race, let me see where we are with the finances. Here's my here's my betting stats for the season. Oh, look at that, y'all. I bet I placed 21,000 in bets. I didn't even realize this, but I've won 20,500. So I've only lost 900 at this point. I didn't realize I've won so much. I thought we just won that last one. And maybe we did. Maybe that's how much we won from that last one. But I'll certainly take it. Boom. There's Super Gifts Race. Oh, what the heck? I didn't mean to do that. 
right there. Let's put some money on her. I want to do... $7,500. I know it's a lot, but we're far from our $100,000 threshold at this point, so we can kind of go for broke here a little bit. And let's go to race. Let's see what it do there. This is our competition. Cressilin, still gray lady, Arctic Laura. That's the way it is. Okay, that's a pretty dope name. I, I feel you right there. Silky Smooth. I've seen Silky Smooth before. We raced that one before. And then Norse Wing. Whatever the heck that means. And they're off. And the early leader is number five from number one. There's super gift right there in the middle of the pack. You see her also up here. Number four is making ground. Number five has the advantage from number four turning left-handed. Half a mile left to run. Number five is the clear leader from Ooh. number four, number seven, and number two. The leader goes easily. Come on, super gift. A quarter Ooh. of a mile to run. Number five has Ooh, the advantage come on, super from gift. number seven. Ooh, number whoa, seven has come the on, advantage super gift. from number three, number five. This is her race. Six, this is her race, y'all. Let's go. She pulled it off. She got the win in her last race of the season. Way to freaking go, super gift. And remember, when I scheduled this race, I told y'all. I had a feeling she could pull it off because she was rated higher than all these other horses. So she made it happen. Way to go. Way to freaking go. Let's go. All right. So she just made $5,000 added to her total. So for the season, she made 12536 She went one for six. That's pretty good. Her rating is now up to 81. That's decent. We'll take it. Not that bad. It says, written in the pack. That's a fine horse. Maybe go for really big money next time. Yeah, maybe. Hold your horses, buddy. Pun intended. The distance was ideal today. Yep, I'm going to keep an eye on that too. So, oh, okay, wait, here's the auction at the end of the race. We don't really want none of those. Um, so let's see real quick. That was a, yep, a seven furlong race. Yeah, I think that is her race right there, the seven furlong race. I think she did the best in those. She did okay in that two, she can't do a mile though. That's where she ended up getting hurt. All right, so she's pretty much done for the season. Here, what I'm gonna do just to show you guys how this works. I don't necessarily have to do this. I mean, I could still continue to race her if I want to, but I don't wanna overdo it. Um, what I could do is put her out the grass and see as you see it says, click to send the horse out to grass for the rest of the season it cannot be undone. And that just means she'll be done for the rest of the year. Uh, you know what, let's do it just to show you how it works. So when you do that, they disappear from here just meaning they can no longer be scheduled they're still there they're just in the background like they say out to grass so we got one left one left one race left this season i don't think i'm well i say that and then i get irked that i missed that sale i was about to say i don't think i'm gonna buy any more horses this year but Oh yeah, okay, so they're just telling me that they've registered BCOM for her final race, which is on the 4th. Nope, no one there we want. We're looking for graded horses at this point, y'all. Uh, let me see, when's the next sale? So the next breeder sale is on October 14th. Let's try to make our way there. 
there's an auction in between, so we might stop there to see if there's anything worth worthwhile. Nope. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I almost missed this one. Nope, it's gilded. Damn. Okay. So nothing there. Did I say the 14th or the 15th? 14th, okay. 14th is the next breeder sale. Might look to add another mare if we can. We got the money. If we can find one that meets the profile. Here we go, let's see. Ooh, they got a couple, ooh, they got a couple. Damn, we might not be, a damn, this one is loaded. Holy cow. All right, let's see. We might not be able to afford any of these, but let's see. Jeez. They put all the freaking good horses <laughs> in a race that I cannot afford. Oh my. See, okay, this one, money-wise, Ace, Maddie, we can get her, but I don't like her rating. So the only one I'm really gonna go after is this Tulu Much. Oh no, it's Tutu, uh, I love that name, Tutu Much. You see how they spelled it, Tutu? That's dope. I definitely want that one, too, too much. These other grade one horses, I would have loved to add them, but as you can see, they all have reserves that's above how much we currently have in the bank. Maybe Rousseau, but I'm pretty sure that one's gonna jump way above that 1.3 we have available real quick. So the only one we can realistically go after and cross our fingers that they don't outbid us is too, too much. So let's see if we can get her. Damn, it looks like we not, <laughs> we not gonna, no, they already, no, they already passed us. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even wanna watch the rest of this. I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. We can't afford none of that. That's unfortunate, y'all. There was some good freaking horses there. So instead of doing the skip by day, we can also click here to say skip to next. And what that'll do is just fast forward it straight to our next race. So I'm just gonna click that. I think that's what it does. Hell, what is this building form? Uh, I don't know. I hope this ain't taking us to the next. Okay, yeah, it takes us, when you do that, it take you a day before your next race. So our next race is on November 4th. That just fast forward us to November 3rd. So here we are. This is officially the last race of the season. We're not gonna race them anymore after this. So let's go, oh, and it's the first race right there. And yeah, I'm about to put some money on her. I'm gonna put fifteen foul wow on her to see how she does with that. And she don't even have to win at all. Just come in number one or number two, baby. Oh, I think they dropped it down too. Oh, let's see. Let's see how I do. Go to race. Let's see the roll call real quick. $10 bill, that's a good name. Extra. I think I've seen Arctic Laura before in a race. There's Be Calm right there. She's wearing number 17 in this race. Again, once we get to and the, the early leader is number one from number seven, number ten, and number five. Half a mile mark, which is number 50, is last. Four furlongs. Once we get Turning there, left -handed. I'll fast forward through. Be Calm's way back here. Damn, she's making her way all the way to the bottom. Is last. 
13's last, 17 is second to last. Second Number team 11 is, is making ground. Come on now, b -Con. Number one is the leader from number seven. All right, so keep an eye on b -Con. I'm about to fast forward. Half a mile left to run. Number one is the clear leader from number seven and Ooh, number look, ten. Oh, she's making a move, or at least number she was five, trying. I think, she's too, I think she's too far. Number she's two too far making gone. ground late on. They're in the oh, final snap. Third. Look number at B-Com, yo. Come on, B-Com. Number two. Number two takes it. I think she may have finished fifth, if I'm not mistaken. So she definitely didn't. I mean, we lost our bet completely. And again, this isn't BCOM's race. This is a one mile race. This is not her race. She's a seven furlong horse. We know that for sure now. She did finish fifth, so let's, ooh, damn, look at this. This is big money. The winner of this race just won. How many zeros is that? Damn, the winner of this race, freaking Brewery Ann just won $1.5 million. Number two won 575, number three, 250,000, number four, 125,000, 50,000. BCOM just won 50,000, y'all. Her se she had a hell of a season, huh? A hell of a fresh uh, a freshman, a hell of a rookie season. One for six, she won 150 grand. That's pretty good. That's really good. You see who her parents were again? Double the trouble and come hither. See, her mom is a grade one horse, so she got the lineage. Great job for BCOM. I'm not mad at that. Her, for her to finish fifth in a race that's not really her race, written as a closer, which suited, I believe the trip suited perfectly. Yeah, it was okay. All right, so we're done there. Yeah, y'all, that was a heck of a race season right there. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to the end of this calendar year so we make our way to the top of next year and then get ready to wrap the episode but this is pretty good man i'm not mad remember the calendar the calendar goes through i believe the last day is november 26 either the 26th or the 27th and then as you see you only see one horse here be calm the other one is out to grass so when we make our way to the top of the next calendar year she'll be not only will what was her name be, uh i can't even remember her name damn hold on let me see if i can find her where would that be oh right here in the field so super gift right that this is just where it shows where she shut down at um, I'm trying to see where my home page is, y'all. I can't, I can't remember. Oh, is it trainers? No. Damn it. Oh, it's this. Okay, I was trying to get here. Okay, but it doesn't show it from here. That's fine. See, here's our previous years. We went 1, 2020, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We went five years before we raced. We didn't ra oh, we didn't race until year six, which is where we are now, 2026. But these previous five years, there was nothing. So now, when we get to the top of next season, you're gonna see 2026 here, wherever we ranked, we'll find out soon. I'm pretty sure close to the bottom. But we won two of 14 races. We won 163 grand. So you'll see all that show up here once we get to the top of the year and this becomes history in the record books and then at the top so at the top of next year you're going to see super gift come back as well as these 14 yearlings that we have they're all going to be into our stable so that's why you got to make sure you have enough room for them right now you see how it says two of 26 horses and old man trails so let's expand our capacity which we do here, we can max it out. Well, we can't technically, because we don't have enough. If we wanted to max it out to the capacity of 512 additional, we could do that, but that costs 2.3 million. So we do five at a time for 27,000 per additional five. So I'm about to just load up on 10. That's one, 
So when we did that, you see this, it goes up to 31. I'll do it again, it's gonna go up to 36. You see that, it's gone up to 36. So that's what we'll do there before we close out the season and just making our way here. You see we're on November 22nd. Again, I believe the last day is the 26th. I think this is the last day. Yep, that's the last day. So here are the end of the season awards, your top jockey, the top trainer. This is a, an award we're vying for eventually. But as you can see, we're nowhere near that, right? He he won in his stable, this trainer stable. They did 151 races this past calendar year. They won 44 of them. And this is how much they won in earnings. That's what, 12.3 million. Group races, he won 30 group one races, 13 group two races, and 27 group three races. Yeah, he was definitely the top trainer. He has 31 horses, 14 staff. That's Ascot Lodge is that stable. This is the top apprentice. And then here's where we are. This is our stats, our one horse, because the other one is in the field. That's how much cash we have on hand. This is what we did. We won 14% of our races. Our rank was 96 out of 101, so we made some progress. It's all good. Here are the horse awards. I don't think, pretty sure none of our horses won anything. But let's see, the, the awards they have is top flat horse, top flat stayer, top flat sprinter. What is stayer, man? I'm not, I'm not sure. Top flat two-year-old. Tyrannus, we raced against him a couple times, him or her, whatever that is. But I remember seeing that name. Look at that. He went five for five in his races and won two million dollars. That's two million, right? Yep, two million dollars. The top flat three-year-old went 11 for 19, won seven million dollars. And then the top flat four-year-old. And these are all flat because we don't do any jumps. So boom, that's the end of 26 season. These are our new... These are our new yearlings that we just made that are gonna show up in the yearling thing when we go. I'm gonna take a look at them before we wrap. This is the pre-auction, not interested in that. So then boom, here we are. Like I said, the new, the new crop of horses have now showed up. These are the 14 that were yearlings. They're now two years old. As you can see, there's BCOM here. Let me sort by age. There's BCOM and Super Gift, the three-year-olds. And then we have 14 two-year-olds. Now remember, when we look at the calendar here, there's a two-year-old sale on June 20, oh, I'm sorry, January 22nd. When we come back on the next episode, we'll fast forward to that. I'm not going to do it now, but just to show we got a two-year-old sale coming up. When we get to that, we're going to part ways with most of these and figure out who we're going to keep. But before we wrap this episode, let's take a look at our yearlings. Oh, look at this. Look at all these yearlings. I'm just gonna browse through them to see how they look. See if anything stands out to me. So far, not, but that's okay. Because even if none of these, which there are gonna be some keepers for sure, but even if none of them were keepers, all that means is just more money. But there are some keepers here though. Oh, look at this one. Hatana, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up changing her name, but she has pretty good uh, potential. That's really good. He's our lad, looks, mm, that's decent. This one is decent. Pretty sure I'm gonna end up changing her name. High standard, I like that name, I'm gonna keep that name. And I'm, I'm gonna end up keeping this horse too. I see a star is decent. I think we might keep her and sell her as a, or him. Keep him and sell him as a two year old. Ooh wee, look at this one, Jericho. Well, doesn't have stamina. Who's his parents? 
Gem Tango and King's Entity. Doesn't have stamina, has decent speed, but look at that uh, potential. He hit the 75 mark on there. La Voy de la Loon. Definitely gonna change that name. Has no stamina, but pretty good. Pretty good potential, but no stamina. Metal Dealer. <laughs> That's funny. We're gonna end up selling him as a yearling. Same with this one. Okay, this might be a keeper. No stamina. Damn. I'm looking to see if we have a horse with good potential, good speed, stamina, and acceleration. If we come across that, forget about it. We might, we might not though. Rustic Goat looks good. The speed and acceleration, again, no stamina. Damn. Okay, this one's getting sold. Same with this one getting sold. This might be a keeper, we'll see. This one's gonna get sold. Damn, see, then we find one that has a stamina, no speed, jeez. This batch is okay. Nothing too exciting, to be honest. I don't have what I'm looking for. But that's okay though, because worst case scenario, we'll still make a lot of money off of these and we'll be able to upgrade our stable. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, so yeah, I'm gonna have to clean out, I'm gonna have to clean out my stable. Plus, if you look at this position two more excitable horses so we're gonna have to find those excitable mares and get rid of them sell them off but we'll sell them and i just won't mate with them and we'll end up selling them uh during the breeding sale so when we come back in the next episode we're gonna work our way to the two-year-old sale see which of these two-year-olds we'll get rid of and keep wash rinse we repeat We'll come back and start off the 2027 season. So as you can see, the deeper we go into this franchise, the longer and the more episodes is going to take to get through one season, which is totally fine. Um, but, you know, that's just how it is. It's the, the seasons are quicker when you're not racing, obviously, when you're just breeding. But once you start breeding and racing and then once... The, the stable of race horses continues to grow and we have more races dur during the year it's going to take longer to race during the year you know throughout the year which is totally fine i'm here for it and i hope you are too all right then y'all you already know what it is and who it is for the old man Drive. yep that's who it is we'll see you on the next one peace